Welcome to the wonderful world of Dungeons and Dragons. Today, we're diving into the awesome variety of playable races in Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, from tough dwarves to magical elves and everything in between. Each race brings its own flavor and flair to your character. So get comfy and let's jump into this guide to D&D races together. Dwarf Dwarves are a hearty and industrious race. Hailing from ancient mountain strongholds and underground cities, they have a rich history of craftsmanship, mining, and warfare. Their society values honor, loyalty, and tradition, with deep respect for their ancestors. Dwarves are known for their resilience and toughness, both in body and spirit. They are sturdy and tough, with a natural resistance to poison and magic. Dwarven culture also emphasizes craftsmanship, leading many dwarves to pursue professions such as blacksmithing and stone masonry or engineering. Elf Elves are an ancient and enigmatic race, deeply connected to the natural world and the arcane. They often dwell in mystical forests or hidden realms, where they cultivate art, magic, and philosophy. Elves have a long memory and hold grudges against those who wrong them or their kin. Elves are graceful and agile, with keen senses and a deep atonement to magic. They are skilled archers and swordsmen, and their natural longevity grants them wisdom and patience. Elves are also known for their aloofness and can seem distant to other races due to their long lives and different perspectives. Halfling Halflings are a jovial and adventurous folk, known for their love of good food, comfort, and simple pleasures. They often live in small, close-knit communities, preferring a peaceful and unassuming life. Despite their small stature, halflings possess a remarkable resilience and resourcefulness. Halflings are small but agile, with a natural talent for stealth and nimbleness. They are inherently lucky, often seeming to avoid danger or find fortune in unexpected places. Halflings are also known for their hospitality and ability to make friends easily, as well as their knack for storytelling and songs. Humans Humans are the most widespread and adaptable of all races, found in nearly every corner of the world and across diverse cultures and civilizations. They are ambitious and driven, often seeking power, wealth or knowledge. Humans have a capacity for both great heroism and terrible cruelty. Humans are diverse in appearance and abilities, reflecting the vast range of cultures and lineages they encompass. They possess no inherent magical abilities or special traits, but excel in versatility, adaptability, and ambition. Humans are known for their innovation, creativity, and ability to thrive in any environment. Dragonborn Dragonborn are proud and noble beings, descended from dragons and possessing their strength and majesty. They often form close-knit clans or tribes, valuing honor, loyalty, and tradition. Dragonborn have a natural affinity for martial prowess and leadership. Dragonborn resemble humanoid dragons, with scaly skin, horns, and a breath weapon reminiscent of their draconic ancestors. They are strong and imposing with a natural talent for combat and leadership. Dragonborn often feel a deep connection to their draconic heritage and may seek to emulate the virtues of dragons in their own lives. Gnomes Gnomes are curious and inventive beings. Renowned for their technological prowess and love of tinkering, they often live in hidden enclaves or bustling cities, where they pursue knowledge, innovation, and the pursuit of whimsy. Gnomes are known for their eccentricity and love of pranks. Gnomes are small in stature but possess sharp intellects and boundless curiosity. They excel in the fields of engineering, alchemy, and illusion magic, creating wondrous inventions and magical contraptions. Gnomes are also known for their mischievous nature and love of games and puzzles. Half-elf Half-elves are the offspring of humans and elves, inheriting traits from both races. 
They often struggle to find their place in the world, feeling like outsiders in both human and elven society. Half-elves possess the grace and longevity of elves, combined with the ambition and adaptability of humans. Half-elves are charismatic and adaptable, with a natural charm that allows them to navigate social situations with ease. They possess keen senses and a deep connection to nature. Much like their elven ancestors, half-elves often excel in careers that require diplomacy, leadership, or artistic talent. Half-orcs Half-orcs are the offspring of humans and orcs, often born in the aftermath of conflict or conquest. They face prejudice and discrimination due to their orcish heritage, but possess strength, resilience, and determination. Half-orcs often struggle to find acceptance, but excel in physical endeavors and martial pursuits. Half-orcs are strong and imposing. With a natural talent for combat and physical feats, they possess the ferocity and endurance of orcs combined with the cunning and adaptability of humans. Despite their brutish appearance, half-orcs can be fiercely loyal and honorable, forging deep bonds with those they trust. Tifling. Tiflings are descended from humans and fiends, cursed by infernal bloodlines that manifest in their appearance and abilities. They often face suspicion and fear from other races due to their demonic heritage, but possess a strength and resilience born of adversity. Tiflings may struggle with their identity, but often wield powerful magic and charisma. Tiflings have a demonic appearance with horns, tails, and sometimes other infernal features, they possess a natural affinity for magic, often specializing in spells related to fire, darkness, or charm. Tiflings are charismatic and cunning, able to navigate the intrigues of society with ease, despite the prejudice they may face. These races are core to the player's handbook and are commonly found in various Dungeons and Dragons campaigns and settings. Additionally, there are numerous supplementary materials that introduce more playable races such as expansions, campaign settings, and source books. Here's a brief summary of some of other official playable races in Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. Asimar Asimar are celestial descendants, possessing traits inherited from celestial beings. They often have a natural affinity for good and are sometimes called to champion causes of righteousness. Fairbolg. These gentle giants are reclusive forest dwellers known for their wisdom and connection to nature. They often keep to themselves but can be powerful allies when their help is sought. Genasi. Genasi are individuals with elemental ancestry, often manifesting elemental powers and traits related to their heritage. They come in various forms such as air, earth, fire, and water Genasi. Goliath. Goliaths are massive humanoids native to mountainous regions. Renowned for their strength and endurance, they often live by a code of competition and challenge. Kenku Kenku are crow-like humanoids with a talent for mimicry but are cursed with an inability to create original speech or art. They are often drawn to lives of crime or adventuring due to their resourcefulness. Lizard folk. Lizard folk are reptilian humanoids that dwell in swamps and marshes. They have a strong connection to nature and tribal customs, often valuing survival and strength above all else. Tabaxi. Tabaxi are cat like humanoids with feline agility and curiosity. They are known for their love of exploration and tendency to wander in search of new experiences. Turtle. Turtles are humanoid turtles known for their natural armor and swimming abilities. They have a peaceful demeanor but can be fierce defenders when their homes or allies are threatened. And that's a wrap. Folks, remember, in Dungeons & Dragons, your race isn't just a set of stats. It's a chance to explore different cultures, backgrounds, and abilities. Whether you're stomping around as a sturdy dwarf, weaving spells as an elf, or embracing your infernal side as a tiefling, there's a whole multiverse of adventure waiting for you. 
So dive in, have fun, and let your imagination run wild.